Getting up and running quickly with TrackSmart Time Clock. I'm Helene Coppell, TrackSmart Product Manager and one of your presenters today. Joining me later will be Alex Duran, TrackSmart Guru and Customer Success Champion. Before we get started, we have a few housekeeping notes. If you have any questions during, your present, during this presentation, enter them into the chat box on the left side of the screen and we'll answer as many as possible at the end of the presentation. Should you have sound issues, please be aware that the audio is dependent on the stability of the internet connection. If you have any trouble hearing us, please send a message through chat and we'll help you out. One more thing, we'll also email a link to the recording of this webinar within the next couple of days. So if you miss anything, you'll have another chance to catch it. Now back to the topic at hand. This webinar is specifically tailored to give you a deeper dive into the app and to get the most out of your TrackSmart Time Clock experience. The structure of today's presentation will pretty much walk you through everything you need to know and everything you need to do to start tracking time quickly and effortlessly. Here is a brief overview of what we'll be covering. First, we'll go over the simple three steps to getting started. Step one, choose your settings, because TrackSmart Time Clock is very easy to use, but first you'll want to set up a few things to make it work the way your business needs it to work. Step two, you'll add your employees. Next, you'll need to add the employees who are actually clocking in and out, among other things. Then step three is where you start tracking. This is the part where your employees begin clocking in and out and you start to manage their records. Then we'll show you how your employees see and use TrackSmart Time Clock and how you save time with all the things that they can take care of on their own, all without needing to bug you. Either show them what you've learned or just send them a link to this recording later on. After we cover the basics, I'll briefly review the mobile app and advanced features like scheduling work shifts. Also hear what the customer success team does and it ain't just tech support. And then finally, we'll have a customer success coach join us for a live Q&A session. Remember, you can send in your questions at any time through the chat box in the lower left of your screen and we'll answer them during that Q&A session. Get ready to say goodbye to bulky time clock equipment, manual tracking, and all the headaches that go with it. Here we go. You might remember seeing this screen when you first signed up. You went through a three screen process where you may have entered some basic settings, a few sample employees, some shifts for scheduling, we realize most people move quickly through this just to get to the app, so we're going to walk you through what to do now after you've passed that point so you can set up the details that will make Track Smart Time Clock work the way your business does. If you click on the settings link in the top most menu bar, you'll see that you have a lot of options to customize your experience. Don't worry, we're not going to go through every single link in detail. Technically, we've got plenty of default settings in place for you to head directly to adding employees. And I encourage you to explore this area after the presentation to see how flexible the app really is and to make sure that your settings align with the time and attendance policies at your business. Let's take a quick look at some of the various types of settings that are available to you. And you can get to each settings page from the menu on the left. Remember that org info page you filled out when you first signed up? Here's where you can update that if you rushed through. You can set up the first day of the work week for your schedules and overtime calculations, the time and date formats, holidays to display on your calendar, and some very basic permissions for the people at your business who will be using TrackSmart Time Clock. Next up are the Time Clock settings. Time Clock allows employees to clock in and out from any computer or mobile device, and these settings let you designate where and when an employee can clock in, who can review, edit, and approve Time Clock records, and whether the records can be added manually. It will also let you tap into the scheduling feature to prevent employees from clocking in too far outside of their scheduled work time, or to automatically generate Time Clock records based on the scheduled shifts. 
more. If you don't want employees to clock in from just anywhere and would rather designate a specific computer or a tablet as a time clock station, you can set them up as time terminals here. You would just log into that device and click the button to add it as a terminal. You also have a setting to say whether employees can clock in from the mobile app. Next up, you can see there are overtime and maximum hour settings. Maximum hours is a scheduling feature that will cap out the number of hours an employee can be scheduled for the week by default but you can also override that in the specific employee's profile. Overtime settings let you set up the overtime calculations based on how your business operates, and that'll help you with your payroll reports, too. If you've got employees working at more than one location or department, you can set those up here. You would enter the name of your location or department, the time zone, and click Save. Time zone can be different from one location to another, so when employees are clocking in or you're scheduling shifts for a particular location, the times are local to the time zone you set. By the way, you'll see in the employee's profile that you can set up an individual to work at multiple locations, designate where, which locations they can work at. You've got some other settings available to you that will help you with those scheduling features by letting you set up rules for breaks, swapping shifts, and giving up taking open shifts. Again, we recommend spending some time on your own looking around to adjust those settings to fit your needs. We also have a full recorded webinar on the scheduling features, and that's available in the Help Center. That's it for settings. Now that you've seen how flexible TrackSmart Time Clock can be for your specific business, we're ready to move on and show you how to add employees. So maybe when you first signed up, you entered just a few employees as suggested. Well, now you can go in and add all your employees and more details that will help you manage your record keeping. To add or edit employees, click on the Employees link in the upper right menu. You'll see you're already loaded in as an administrator with the email address that you signed up with. You'll also see any of the employees you added during that initial sign-up process. Now you can add a new employee by clicking on the New Employee button. You can add each new employee one at a time by entering the information here. Only the first and last names are required to start your own record keeping. However, if you're planning to invite your employees to start clocking in and out, you'll need to add in a unique email address for each employee. They must be unique because employees use that email address to log into their own personal account. Also in the profile, you can designate here which location the employee can clock into and if you're scheduling which positions they can work. You can record whether they're full or part-time and their hourly rates for labor costs and payroll reports. You can also set additional permissions to manage other employees or also help you manage the system as an administrator. Bear in mind that when your employees are on TrackSmart Time Clock, they will not see any labor rate details, so privacy is maintained. Check out this tag field at the bottom. It's especially helpful for, for the scheduling feature. You can add skills or other details to help identify the right people to schedule into a shift. For example, I know a customer that has a tag for the word key for the employees who have keys to the store so they can schedule them for an opening or closing shift. If you've got a lot of employees, this could be a pretty cumbersome pr process, so you can take a faster route and import your employees all at once. Back on your employees page, click the em employees button, the import employees button. This box appears on your screen. Download the CSV template by clicking on the click to download link. CSV file downloads to your computer that looks like this. 
You can fill it out with your own employees using Excel. You'll see you're just going to enter some very basic information, not every field from a profile, but it'll get you up and running quickly. Once you've entered all the employee information you need, save this file somewhere easy to find, like your desktop. Make sure you save it with the same name it had when you downloaded it in, as a CSV. Then you'll come back to your pop-up. You'll click on Choose File to find the file you just saved and click the Upload CSV button. You'll get a confirmation message letting you know how many employees were imported and your employees will get a notification that they can now use Backsmart Time Clock. If you want to add their additional details or permissions later, you can do that in their profile. By the way, if you need our help uploading your CSV file, email it to timeclock at tracksmart.com and a customer success coach can walk you through it or take care of it for you. Email address to contact them is even shown on this pop-up pop uh, window while you're in there. After uploading the file, you will see a confirmation, confirmation message on the employee page letting you know how many employees were uploaded and their names will now appear on your employee list. So let's see what happens for your employees when you add them to TrackSmart Time Clock. When you upload the employee information and it includes an email address, Backsmart Time Clock automatically sends an email invitation which looks something like what you see on the screen. It provides a link for the employee to register their own account, which is already linked to your company account. I want to stop for a second to let you know that your privacy and your employee's privacy is very important to us. We will never use your employee's email address for marketing purposes or share their information with any other entity or communicate with them directly for any reason other than support as needed. Once they've created their account, they'll get a welcome email that looks like this. You'll see it provides some links to help them get started and a number of ways to get either online or phone support if they need it. Now your employees are in TrackSmart Time Clock and can start clocking in and out, and you're ready to start tracking. Everything up until now has been getting your account set up for your business, and the great part is you only need to do this once. Now the adventure begins. Let's see how the time clock actually works for you and your employees. This is the actual time clock page, and you can get to it anytime by clicking on the time clock link in the upper right menu. You can clock in yourself by clicking this big orange clock in button. Notice that if your business has multiple locations or departments set up, you can select that here before clocking in. By the way, we also know some transportation related businesses which use the locations field to list the routes that drivers are assigned to. We love hearing about new ways that the customers use our app. After I clock in, you can see there's a nice big confirmation at the top letting me know that I'm clocked in. And the button now says clock out, and there's a summary below it showing me when and where I clocked in. Under that is a field for notes, which you'd see when reviewing the records. And there's also a field to enter mileage if your employees need to include that. At the very bottom is a small link that says cancel clock in. If an employee clocks in by mistake, they should do this rather than just clock out quickly. That way it doesn't show up in your time clock records or reports. Bear in mind that you as the administrator or a manager will be able to review the time records and delete any accidental clock ins you notice if that gets, gets through. Okay, so now we're gonna clock out and you can see the record below is automatically generated showing my location, date, clock in and out time, and the length of the clock in. Let's move on to check out who's clocked in, which you can get to from the menu on the left. This screen shows me which employees are clocked in real time. 
here, here you can see Jenny is currently clocked in at the downtown diner, the date and time she clocked in. As an administrator or manager, I can cancel her clock in or, or erase it from her time records just by clicking this cancel clock in link, or I can clock her out with this other link. Let's look at the next screen. You click manage time records from the menu on the left. Under Manage Time Records, you can view and approve clock-ins. You can run it for any given time frame by entering your dates up at the top, and you can filter the list using these drop-downs at the top right. You can view all records or filter by whether you just want to see approved or not approved records. You can filter by which employees you want to see and which locations or departments. This is essentially an on-screen report, so after setting your dates and filters, just click the Get Records button to run it. In this example, for the selected date range, all the records have this red alert triangle to the left of the employee name, which means it hasn't been approved yet. Quickly select and approve all of them. I would just check this box and click the Approve Records button. Ta-da! Now you see the red alerts are all gone and you've got green check marks, which mean the records are approved. As a reminder, if you've allowed it in your time clock settings, managers can also approve these records. It's not just the administrators. And that's another time saver for you. You can also edit and delete individual records by clicking on the buttons to the right. As an administrator or manager with permission, I can edit any record here. Employees don't have the same permission by default, but you can allow for that in the time clock settings also. Once a record is approved, it'll be logged into your time reports along with the approver's name. You can also add a new record to this page by clicking the button up at the top right. When you're adding a new record, it has all the fields you need to create a completely new clock-in record for any employee, clock-in and clock-out, if you need to do it. Now let's take a quick look at your payroll report. You'll see on the left there are a number of reports to help you manage your employees, but when we're talking about time clock records, it's usually your payroll report that comes up. You can run it for any date range, an employee, or all employees, and choose to view it on screen, print it out, or export it as an Excel CSV file. That file will let you take the data and set it up how you need it for use with any payroll service or payroll software. On your report, you'll see the scheduled hours if you're using the scheduled scheduling feature, mileage reported, and hours clocked, both what was entered and what was approved. Overtime is calculated based on your overtime settings we showed you earlier. And if you've added the pay rates to the employee's profile, you'll see the gross pay here on the right. Now I'll hand it over to Alex Duran, who will walk you through what your employees will experience. Thank you, Helene. <clears throat> now, what's this all like for your employees? Helene touched on it when she showed the employee invitation email and how to clock in and out. But let's look around some more. This is an employee's dashboard. In our sample, Jenny can see her unapproved recent clock-ins. Because I haven't changed the default settings for the account, you can see that just like the administrator, the employee can delete, edit, and add a new record. Of course, you as an administrator or manager will still have to approve those changes but let them clean up their own mistakes can save you some time up front. If you rather now have employees make changes on their own, you can change that in the time clock settings. Clock in straight from, their dash from the dashboard, your employee can click on the clock in out button to the right. If you're using the scheduling features, the dashboard provides some quick views and of the schedule and grab open shifts. There's also a view of the time off request, which we'll talk about shortly, and access to the wall, which is a message board for all you and your employees. 
By the way, you have a similar view of this, ba of this dashboard, but it's got a lot more information, which includes all of your employees. That time off tab would also present a view of all time off requests needing your approval. But let's get back to the employee. Here's our, here's our time clock page again. You can see the employee time clock is very similar to the administrative view. The only difference is that they've got few fewer options on the left than you did. They can adjust settings on settings or run a payroll report like an administrator. Let's review the Manage Time Records screen for employees available from the left menu. Here you'll see the employees can pull time records and filter the same way you did, except they can only view their own records. There are no other options in the employees drop down box. I choose to view all records, approved and unapproved records. Also, if an employee wants to add a new record, let's say if he or she forgot to clock in, he would click the add new records button and this record would be added to the list as unapproved record and be sent to your waiting for, from approval. In our example, our records have been approved except for the one at the bottom with the red alert triangle. Notice on the right that only the unapproved record has active buttons to delete or edit a record. The other buttons are disabled. Once an administrator or manager approves a record, the employer is no longer able to edit that record. The administrator can still change an approved record though, if necessary, as well as a manager, if your time clock settings allow it. Let's go back to the dashboard. You can see that you can see this time off button on the right. Your employees can request time off or set reoccurring unavailability for the schedule. Here, Jenny can put in a single time off request to let you know she needs a day off or if you use scheduling to let you know she's not available to work that day. This will be recorded in her time records and you wouldn't be able to schedule her during the time period if the request was approved. She can also say a reoccurring request. Let's say she's a student. She could put in a request letting you know that she's unavailable Monday through Friday during her school hours entered. Once a request is created, it waits for you or a manager to approve it before it going into effect. That covers the basic functionality of TrackSmart Time Clock, so let's move on to some of the bonuses you get. Access to the, time, to the TrackSmart Time Clock mobile app is included with your free trial and subscription. In our, for mobile app, the app is available for iPhone or Android. You can simply search for it in the mobile app stores by typing in TrackSmart. Our other apps will show up, TrackSmart Attendance and TrackSmart Scheduling. Make sure you choose TrackSmart Time Clock with the icon you see on the screen. Here are some screenshots from the mobile app. Your employee logs in and sees the screen on the left. To clock in, your employee just taps on the big orange clock in button. On the right, you'll see it just like your desktop experience. Now, the employee can clock out, add mileage, and notes, and cancel the clock in if it was made in error. Recent time clock records for the employee are visible as well. Your employees can also create time off requests through the mobile app just as they would on the desktop. By default, your employees can clock in from the mobile app. Remember that you had time clock settings that let you turn that off so they wouldn't be able to do so from here. Next up is the big advanced bonus feature on your time clock account, full access to scheduling features. With scheduling, you can create shifts assign employees to those shifts, copy shifts from one week to the next, auto schedule employees by shift and position, and send employee schedules to employees through email. Scheduling is the perfect complement to time clock, and it sure beats posting a smudge handwritten schedule on to the wall. Your employees will also know when they're working with scheduling. They can just log in anytime and see their schedules. They can also swap schedules or take an open shift as long as they don't violate your company's policies. 
We have a recording of our previous webinar available which takes you step by step through setting up schedules. You can find that through the Health Center or let us know through the chat or email if you'd like to send you a link. If you'd like to go over any of these features again or have your own one-on-one -on -one walkthrough of any of the features on TrackSmart Time Clock, reach out and a customer success coach will be more than happy to take care of that for you. Now back to you, Helene. This brings us to the final portion of today's presentation, and that's to let you know we're not just interested in supporting you as our customer, we're committed to your success. Our customer success coach is like a hybrid between a tech support agent and a time and attendance consultant. You'll hear from one directly in just a few moments when we begin our Q&A. Whether you've got a question or several questions, can't figure something out, just need a little help, these guys have your back. As a customer or a potential customer, you'll have a designated customer success coach at your disposal. Your coach doesn't just answer emails. He is ready to speak to you on the phone to walk you through the app or make suggestions on how to make the best use of your account and take advantage of all the features in a way that fits your business. Even if you've got just a question about managing employee time and attendance or maybe a related compliance issue, call your customer success coach. He's ready to help. And if he doesn't know the answer, we also have a full staff of HR and labor law compliance experts here that you can rely on. So when our coaches, they like to pick up the phone and call you too. You may hear from one every so often just to check, if, check in on you. You can call a Tracksmart Customer Success Champion at 877-457-4855. I'll show that on the screen in a moment. Or you can email support at tracksmart.zendesk.com. We'll be emailing these contact details out in a follow-up uh, message after the webinar, so don't sweat it if you don't have a paper and pen handy. By the way, if you want to browse through commonly asked questions, you can search topics from a dynamic library 24-7 in the Help Center. Also here is where you'll find the TrackSmart member community, that link at the top right in orange. The community is a forum filled with questions and answers, ideas, suggestions, and more from one of our best resources, folks that are using the TrackSmart apps every day. We encourage you to visit the community and share what's working for you or which enhancements you'd like to see us add. If there's something you feel that will help you out with TrackSmart that it doesn't have today, let us know. There's an idea bank. The majority of the features developed on TrackSmart came from our customers letting us know what they needed. Well, that's going to do it for the presentation. We're going ahead into our Q&A session now. So please send your questions to us through the chat box on the left side of the screen. If we don't get to your question on the live webinar, we'll follow up and make sure you get your answer within the next day or two. Remember, we will be sending out the recording of the presentation so you can review it again or share it with your staff. 